appearance in Napier, and it was a heart rally, and I was one year old. The whole All Races Tour rallies were organised and attended by everyday Kiwis who were appalled at the situation in South Africa and New Zealand's complicit part in it by allowing their sports teams to come here, allowing rugby to happen while we ignored what was happening in the home country. A South Africa where people were separated by the colour of their skin. A South Africa where people were routinely killed and fences separated white from black. A nation divided by race. Apartheid literally means the state of being apart, apartheid, a people removed. Kiwis rallied against that injustice all those years ago, and we rally today because that same apartheid, that same injustice, is in our world today. The Palestinian people are a state apart. They are refugees in their own land, much as some of the Afrikaners sat back and watched their rugby and their black slaves, so Israelis sit back and watch the bombing the genocide of the Palestinian people from their deck chairs. We shouldn't need to be here today. We shouldn't live in a world where innocent children are indiscriminately killed by American munitions. But we are. We are all gathered here today to stand against this injustice, to stand against white phosphorus and illegal munition raining down on Palestinian children, to stand against the constant invasion by Jewish settlements on what little land the Palestinians have left. To stand against a war by a rogue state that has gone on far too long. Israel is currently pushing for the demilitarization of Gaza as if Hamas would put down their weapons. The Gaza Strip is in a dire state. It is facing the risk of being uninhabitable by 2020, according to the latest UN report. And that was before the devastation that has destroyed some 16,000 homes and much critical infrastructure. It will soon be absolutely impossible to create any semblance of life support for the citizens of Gaza as the rebuilding of homes, water and electricity networks, hospitals and schools becomes impossible. Israel wants this as the bottom line before they stop the slaughter. And because demilitarization won't happen, they will instead make the blip of land uninhabitable. As Kiwis, we can barely imagine our land being invaded our homes being torn from us and becoming refugees in our land. For many of us, the closest we've come is reading Tomorrow When the War Began by John Marsden. And just as in that story, they fought back, we can fight back alike. And that's why we're here today. To say that the brutality has to stop. To say no to genocide, no to occupation, and no to Zionism. We publicly call for Israel's ambassador to be expelled from New Zealand. Yeah! <coughs> we call on our fellow Kiwis to boycott Israeli products. And we call on, most importantly, a free Palestine and our leaders to raise their voices to help make this happen. Shukran, ma'a salama. Thanks, man.